Hey guys and welcome to another Stream Captains event review. This event was the Awakening. Um, they actually extended it by a further 24 to 48 hours because of issues that they'd had um, early on and during it with updates and things. If you want to check out the first impressions video I did, I will put a card above the screen roughly around about now. I'll also link to the description down below as well. A few things have changed in my mind since the first impressions video I did now that we've actually gone through and finished the event now. I was able to clear one full map and I made it to so far tier 41 progress as well. We'll probably be able to clear maybe another map, maybe two maps uh, tomorrow on stream. Make sure to catch me live at twitch.tv slash Azrael112. Again, link will also be in the description. That being said, what are my thoughts on the event as a whole? Honestly, very, very mixed. Very, very mixed indeed. I still love the concept. I still love what they did. I love the fact that they added the loyalty chests in. But the scaling, the damage scaling, it needs work. Every time we have an event, there is always a damage scaling issue. I don't quite know why this is. I don't understand the reason behind it. It's almost like they want to increase the difficulty and make it so that more people have to join. But at the same time, the scaling for viewers to users in chat to actual people putting units on the, the field seems to be a mathematical conundrum for them. And as a result, we saw what we oh so often do where they take the, the game down for a, a day or a few hours and adjust the scaling, adjust the difficulty. And then it kind of became a little bit too easy again. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad they lowered the difficulty. They needed to because there was a lot of people struggling, myself included, to get past certain missions. One of which was a chest mission, which boggled my mind. Um, it was one of these. And it legit like i couldn't get past it i was putting 100 200 units down could not beat it no matter what i did and it was a chess metal like the the treasure chests here have always been a free pass if you like they've always been some good loot that you've not had to worry about generally just before a boss battle to to kind of wind you up to it the fact that i was legit struggling on a chess battle drove me insane and again, you've got the same knock-on effect. If you lose a match, people leave. And they need to have something safeguarding against this, in my personal opinion, especially for events. They need to have it where if you lose people directly after uh, a match that you've lost, uh, a safeguard or something to lower the difficulty straight away would be really useful. Um, another thing that I really like but does need work are the retry tokens up here the retry tokens in this event respawn at a much higher rate and you always start with two fantastic um it meant that you didn't spend all day doing a map only to lose it it gave you more reason to stay on that map and to try and beat it however the time that it takes for a retry token to actually respawn is too short yes i'm saying it's too short the reason why is because with this event you basically didn't need the retry tokens at all um in the you might as well just not have had them you might as well just had an automatic retry because it was only like 45 minutes or whatever it is before one would respawn and you start with two you would always have them i don't believe that should be the case i believe that there should be a consequence for losing repeatedly um, I like the fact that you can get them quicker, which means that you don't automatically have an instant. If you lose this map, that's it. If you use your retry tokens, you ain't getting them until tomorrow. But they need to be spaced out maybe a couple of hours to three hours. So if you're streaming long during the day, you can still 
have multiple retries during the day but not just an instant oh, i'll just retry because it doesn't matter um like i like the the idea of a consequence for losing otherwise you might as well just take out the retry tokens and just have an automatic retry personally that's what i see enemy units i thought that they did a really good job of integrating the old enemies with some new ones the map designs are incredible i really really like them the new sort of idea of enemy defending versus you defending versus the sort of wall of death map that they had it was really really cool it, i liked it the amount of gold you got in this event was incredible the chess i didn't really see the chess actually um the loyalty chess giving a lot out i saw a lot of gold but i didn't see much in the way of tokens and i didn't see much in the way of skins and i get that it's a low chance but i think that the drop chance of them could have been maybe increased considering that you only got like one of each type of chest per match that or making it where we could have got one or two loyalty chests per map as opposed to only be able to go in for one um i feel that you will if you've got multiple of the like special chests that you can gain on one map as well as a boss chest you're more likely to retain that loyalty you're more likely to retain people coming to your maps because what was happening is people would stay until they got loyalty chest and then they'd leave to go and get a loyalty chest of somebody else whereas if you've got multiple chests on the same map then you are more likely to retain that viewership that that playing that player base because they're going to stay with you because they know that they can get multiple chests so that would be kind of cool to see with maybe a higher drop chance of the the rarer stuff um outside of that not really much else to add on top of my first impressions video really uh really really liked everything that i saw um again we're not going to get into it again but the uh the rewards i think maybe they could do something more for the freebies on the event rewards once you hit the tier 37 um as a captain it doesn't really matter because you get all the gold anyway but i i don't know for for a viewer maybe giving something more than just a badge that we can't really do anything more with once you hit that that prestige level sort of thing um and obviously sorting out the the order in which the rewards drop like i'd like to see more progression there but we all know that but there you have it guys there is my review of the stream captain's awakening event overall it's a big thumbs up with me really enjoyed it like what they've tried to do hope to see more of this sort of thing with the next event with some changes made uh hope that they get round to actually sorting the scaling so they don't have to go into downtime to scale everything back or scale everything up um they've, they've done enough events now i think that they should really have the maths to know what sort of difficulty they need to be setting it at and yeah i look forward to seeing what's next hope you enjoyed this video guys please let me know in the comments down below what you liked what you didn't like about the event what you'd like to see changed if there are any rewards you'd like to see added and uh, i'll see you all next time thank you very much for watching guys ciao ciao